one thing that is for sure is I will always show up somewhere to some sort of family event or gathering with some sort of sweet and today's video is no different. <music> that we are serious about our sweet treats over here um, last year and sort of this year I'm not really focusing on it as much and putting as much pressure on myself but last year for vlogmas we recreated it we rebranded it and called it treatments so that is how much we care about our sweets over here but today's video is a little special because it is in a collaboration with my sweet friend Sammy from Managing the Maze and Valerie from Valerie Hargett they are doing a Christmas collab and you could do any sort of Christmas um, dish, I guess, that you wanted to do. And y'all know I had to do sweets. So I'm gonna do three super simple, super easy treats that you can make with yourself or with your kiddos if they enjoy getting in the kitchen with you. But it is a collab, like I said, so the playlist will be linked down below as well as links to Valerie and Sammy's channels. Um, make sure you go over and check out their channels definitely go over and check out the playlist i know it's going to be filled with lots of delicious treats and goodies foods anything christmas related it doesn't have to be sweet treats but y'all know i had to do sweet treats because what kind of video would it be if i wasn't making something loaded with sugar and happiness so we're gonna go ahead and get started like i said it's gonna be three super easy simple treats that you can make by yourself or with your kiddos um Two of them are family favorites, and by family I mean me. They're my favorites from last year's treatments. And then one is just a super simple, everybody knows it, but sometimes you forget about it, kind of dessert, treat, whatever. Um, these are all like grab and go. Well, the white trash might not be really be grab and go, but um, you know, you can get you a little bit and eat on it, munch on it here and there. You don't have to get a plate and cut it and all of that because I have realized that things that you just grab and go, they are just, they go over better with a family events, especially if there's little kids around and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you know me at all, you probably know one of the treats that we're gonna make. Um, and that is the Christmas tree cake pops like we made last year. I think I'm just gonna do cake balls this year because I'm lazy and I don't like putting them on sticks and whatnot. Did I even put them on sticks last year? I don't remember. We're gonna do those, and then we're gonna do white trash. We're gonna change the name to something more Christmassy, though. We'll figure that out when we get there. Um, and we're also gonna just do some Rolo treats. I don't even know what they're called. You already know what they are, but we're gonna share them anyways because, well, I got the stuff and I want to share with my friends. So we're gonna go ahead and get you flipped around, figure out what we're doing first. And then we're going to get on with the video. So I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, make sure you go over and check out the other ladies in this collab. Um, you're going you're gonna to enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get to cooking. Even though we're not cooking. Okay, friends. For our first one, we're going to do our Christmas tree cake pops or balls. Because they're not going to be on sticks. Now, I know. You could just go in the cabinet, grab out the cake, and eat it, and it's it's just fine that way. It's perfectly perfect that way. I know this. However, sometimes you want to take something that's good and just change it up. I was going to say make it better, but it doesn't actually make it better, I don't think. Um, I don't know. They're cute. They're different, and you need to make them. So, I did not have a full box of the big ones because one day... Um, John was out of his cakes and he seen them up there and he got him one. No big deal. I ain't mad about it. Um, so I just used four from the big pack of them and then used one small one. I had more, but I'm actually going to use them for a different recipe. Plus, I like to keep some on hand for, you know, Christmas tree cake emergencies, you know, you know. Um, so I just put one in it and it was fine. I didn't want to make a whole bunch because we're not making these for a gathering. I'm just making them for us. And that means making them for me. And I don't want to eat them all. So, um, usually, like last year when I made this, I added some cream cheese to it. It, that was definitely good last year. But it changes the flavor of it. Like, it doesn't taste like the true Christmas tree cake that way. 
And Lily didn't like how wet they was. So I thought this year I would just blend up the cake. And that's what I did. I left it just a tiny bit chunky because I wanted to be able to still see the colors and whatnot. Um, so we just balled them up. And then I put them in the freezer for about 30 minutes to just let them sit up and get nice and cool. I mean, cold, cool. Same thing, I guess. Um, and then I melted the chocolate here, the almond bark. This was almost an entire tray of this it had one little row missing of the almond bark um that i used for something else so you'll see in the back there that is the reindeer food we've already got it made up because i was just making stuff as i went and i wanted to have it ready so that when i was done dipping these then i could just go ahead and jump into that i just categorized this in complete desserts just to make it easier and just i don't know less overwhelming for people wanting to watch it so we're just getting these all dipped in the chocolate here. Um, it's not actually chocolate. The almond bark. My little fork thing I got at Hobby Lobby. There's actually a lady looking for them. And she spotted them. And they was like behind me. And after she walked away, of course, I turned around to see what she's looking at. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy some of those. So I did. Don't regret it. Those was only $2. Um, but we got them dipped and let them get settled and now I'm going in with some red because you can't have Christmas tree cakes without some red swirl. Um, and I actually should have put my green sprinkles on before I done this, but I forgot. So I'm going to put my red on here and then I'm going to put on my sprinkles. It sets up super fast, so I suggest doing maybe four at a time, putting your sprinkles on and then continuing because my sprinkles didn't stick that well, but... It worked out. They're still cute and they're delicious. They actually still taste like their Christmas tree cakes. So I call that a win. No complaints on my end, which I don't complain much anyways. And this one is a Odie but goodie. I think everybody knows how to do these, but Sometimes you forget about the goodies, and I, so I wanted to share, so maybe you can remember to make them this season. Um, I don't make these as often as I would like to, because it's one of those things I think that only I would eat a lot of. However, Lily really liked them. She doesn't like the pecans, so she pulls them off because she's a little weirdo, but she said that they remind her of the Christmas crack that she really likes. Um, so, you know, I told her I would make some more and not put the nut on top, which is not a big deal. She just peels it off, but, um, put something else on top, maybe some M&Ms or something, but we're going to go ahead and get these. I tried to get the more round ones, but as you can see, they're not all round. Um, and I decided to experiment and I put in some of the Rolos upside down and some of them right side up and they worked out just the same. So, it doesn't really make a difference. I just was worried about the structure of them and whatnot when I put them upside down. I don't know why it's all the same. It melts. But we're doing two rows of the dark chocolate sal salted caramel Rolos and then two rows of the original. And they're just really simple and easy. Y'all know how to make these, but I wanted to share it anyways. I walked by these circular pretzels at Aldi and I was like you know what that would make perfect Rolo bites so that's what I got them for yeah don't force your Rolo in there it doesn't go well um but they worked really good for that plus I like the shape of them for the reindeer food that we make it, it looks like a little wreath so we're gonna go ahead and put these into the oven at 200 for three minutes and it was a perfect amount of time. They're not, you know, they're melty enough, but they're not super melty, which we don't want them super melty. I'm going to go in now with some sprinkles. I got two different kinds, but they're pretty much the same thing. These are just little round ones that are green, red, and white. They're going on the original Rolos. And then back on the back ones, the salted caramel ones, I've got green and red trees that we're going to put onto it. I knew that the color difference would show some as well, but I just wanted to make sure that you could tell the difference in what was what, um, just in case somebody wanted one specifically. Like, I know that John would prefer the dark chocolate ones. I gave him two of those and one of the other ones last night when he ate them. Um, and then I like to top mine with salted roasted pecans. I think it makes all the difference. If they're not raw, they just taste so much better in my opinion. I like the extra crunch that it brings. Um, plus the added salt is helpful as well. So 
I just put the nuts on and then I will make sure that there's some sprinkles showing on each one just because it helps the cute factor. Do you know? We're all about looks over here, even if we use broken nuts. But you do what you got to do. You work with what you got. Um, and it's still delicious. So it doesn't really matter if your nut is broken or not. You want to make sure that these are set up fully before you try to move them. Because if not, your whole bottom will fall off. And then it's just not going to be as pretty. Um, and your, you know, your caramel will be showing. And that's not appropriate. Just kidding. But it just messes with the looks. And it keeps it looking much cleaner and nicer if you make sure they have set up fully so i left these sitting for i don't know a pretty good while probably an hour at least without moving them and then if i could as i could gently move them after a while i just moved them over just picked them up and moved them over to a clean spot and just left them there again for a little while like i said you just if you do it it helps the bottom stay nice and clean and pretty but here they are everybody's seen them but they're delicious no complaints as long as you like caramel because if you don't like caramel or pecans or pretzels well this isn't for you and our last treat we're going to be sharing is our white trash also known as reindeer food because we had to name it something cute for the holidays um now i don't follow a recipe for this anymore because it's not really something you need a strict recipe for. I just get some stuff and mix it up. And whatever I think sounds good at the time is what I use. This time we used pretzels or rice checks. Because it's my favorite in the mix. Um, you can also use Cheerios and whatnot. Um, the possibilities are endless. But I also, and I always use mixed nuts instead of peanuts. Um, but this time I also thought about using some popcorn. So I popped a bag of popcorn and then I let it sit up and sit out, whatever. And cool, popcorn cools really quickly anyways. But I wanted it to be cool because I was afraid that the heat would like start melting my marshmallow. Not marshmallows. You could use marshmallows. That was a good idea. Um, but melting the coating on my M&M's. We put peanut butter M&M's in it as well as just peanut M&M's. This is stuff that we had where well, the peanut M&M's was left over from gingerbread houses. And then the M&M's with peanut butter those was lilies but we just borrowed them it's fine she didn't mind um just giving it a nice little mix here and then the popcorn has cooled down so we're going to go ahead and put it in try to avoid putting some kernels in there i think i dropped one but thankfully i'm the person that bit into it so you know problem solved there but you're just going to get it all nice and mixed up and then you will add your melted white chocolate i already had mine melted because of the the cake balls like I said I done this in like making it as easy as possible for myself but I did bundle it together in the video just to make it easier for you to watch um completed desserts so I actually probably needed a little bit more white chocolate and I had some but I didn't want to melt it because I just was feeling a little lazy plus Lily liked just she was eating it straight out of the bowl without any of the coating on it and said that she liked that it was salty and sweet mixture so I didn't want to overdo the sweet because I wanted the salty to still come through so I just used what white chocolate we had left here got it all nice and mixed up you want to be gentle with it because you will break it up but you also want to make sure you go down deep into the bow and bring it all up um, make sure all the little globs of white chocolate that you get them mixed up as well as evenly as possible and then you're going to take it over once you get it nice and mixed up and lay it down on some parchment paper or wax paper. Whatever you've got, full paper would work as well. We've done it on full paper before too. Um, when I got it laid out, I was a little worried it wouldn't be sweet enough. Just the color was lighter than it usually is when I make it. So I decided we was going to go in and just, what's the word I'm looking for? Sprinkle on just a little bit of powdered sugar I, I figured it couldn't hurt anyway so just help it look more festive so uh, that is what we did and then after we got the powdered sugar on it i did add some more m m's on top just which the coating was so light on this you could still see the color of the m m's really good but just to have some not as coated m m's because they still obviously got some of like the powdered sugar on them and whatnot 
Um, I just went in and added some fresh ones on top to just help bring out the color more. You could do sprinkles as well. I typically do do sprinkles, but I'm not a fan of biting into sprinkles. What? That? I don't know. I love sprinkles. Don't get me wrong, but I just decided to skip out on the sprinkles doing it on this. I also don't like how it like just gets crumbly on the bottom and that's where all the sprinkles are, you know? Um, but here is the final product. Come on. It's done, Angel. Yeah. It is. I guess it was Lily approved. All right, friends, and with that, that is gonna be all for this video. I hope that you enjoy hanging out with us and making some sweet treats and um make sure you check out the playlist down below as well as sammy and valerie but thank you guys for being here if you enjoy videos like this and you haven't joined our family make sure you do so down below we'd love to have you we post stuff like this quite often because well we spend a lot of our time in the kitchen and i enjoy sharing that with you so thank you for being here and we'll see you all next time as always remember to show grace be content and live blessed bye friends